This week at COP, we are excited to announce that as construction continues on the East Campus Radio Studios, this week construction began on the South Campus Studios. Bible Radio is coming. This week at COP, let us joyfully present to you, COP, our Harvest Meter year-to-date for 2016. This is the number of souls that you have brought to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. The MMU have won 25,500 military souls to date, CAD Ministries and Volunteer Trios, 17,738 souls, our SPS and MSPS Pastoral Students, 8,600, and then their Step Up Trio, Prison, Luke's Call, Personal Evangelism, Street Preaching, Connect Group Outreaches, School Outreaches in College and High School, Harvest Visits for Real, and when you add up all the numbers, the grand total year to date is 82,651. This has caused some major rejoicing in heaven. No wonder COP people are so filled with joy. This week at COP, the MMU had three days of outreaches at the Army Recruitment Center with a wonderful total of 303 people saved. This week at COP, the MMU conducted water baptism for 10 Special Forces Troopers and three Marine recruits. This week at COP Cebu, Pastors Joe and Becky visited Cebu for the second time this year and the congregation not only enjoyed a glorious weekend in the river, but 42 decisions were made for salvation. This week at COP on Saturday, there was a whole day NASA musicians training and the day flew by as 77 delegates were brought together and taught by the world-class COP musicians in both theory and applied classes, thanks to COP Batangas and COP Lawag who participated in the training. This week at COP East Campus wrapped up the year of Revival Nights with Pastors Joe and Becky Cruz. Now Maine, it's our turn. Maine Campus Revival Nights are this Wednesday and Thursday 16 and 17 at 7 p.m. Come hungry and come expecting to be revived. This week at COP, meet YBD Kids worker Sister Pam Patello. Pam has been having a hard time because her parents are unsaved and live far away in New Zealand. To make things worse, her mom was suffering from breast cancer and it had already spread to the bones. Her arm was all swollen and she could no longer lift it. Life expectancy was short. Pam's mom came to Manila for her medical checkup and surprised Pam by coming and attending a service at COP. It so happened, it was the Dag Mills healing meeting. They really felt the presence of the Lord and, praise God, they came forward for the salvation altar call. While they were standing there, just standing at the altar, Pam's mom began to notice that she could lift up her arm and move it around. Now, just this November 5, Sister Pam received the best birthday gift ever on her birthday— They got the result of all her mom's laboratory tests, including the bone scan, and the doctors were amazed that all test results are negative. He is truly a healing Jesus. Coming up at COP, Hangers. Hangers is November 30 from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. Hangers is our annual leaders training and refreshing with Pastor Sumrall. Hangers will equip you, the leader, with a boost, an ability to be a God-pleaser as you serve His people. Hangers is at COP Main Auditorium. It has been another great week at COP.